Oh yeah, little uh, short. I say short, actually, it might not be short. You'll know, you know what YouTube will tell you. Uh, going to do a little colouring in video today. Um, I've already got my image prepared, as you can see. This is Harry Nielsen. Uh, this started off with this drawing here that I did from a photograph of his, not of him. Don't think he took it as well, it wasn't a selfie. Uh, then I translated that into this digital version, added some words, added some swirls, and now I'm just going to colour it in. I've worked my colours out in advance. Okay, it take ages. So we're starting with these green letters. And for this, I'm using just a felt tip brush. Just going to do this here. Um, it's going to be very chilled, this one. So I'm not going to be talking much. I'm just going to be colouring. Sit back with your brew. Oops, brush is too big. Let's do that. Sit back with your brew and just relax. <laughs> oh God, how Bob Ross is that? It's like CD Bob Ross, isn't it? Now, if you use Procreate or other similar programs, you will know that. You could just drop the colours in, I'll show you. If you're not experienced to this, set this as a reference. So I could just go like that. But the whole point of this video is to just have a nice relaxing time, just colouring in. Just get into the flow.
Okay, the letter's done. Nearly done. I'm going to add some stippling. Created a clipping mask here. And what I can do is I'm going to darken this green. Use a stipple brush. Use a stipple studio. I think I'm using plugins by uh, brushes by different uh, various different companies here. Probably a retro supply company and True Grit Texture company. So I've created a mask now, so I can just go. Ooh, that's very big. Make it shorter, smaller, like that. Oh yeah. yeah. You see, I'm only affecting the green, not anything else. Not keen on the size of the stipple, actually. Better. interesting so it's not just a big flat area of green because most of the other colours in this are going to be flat so you want a bit of uh, texture go and do some texture on the hair and the face but nowhere else there we go so what percentage is that that's around 20% I'm going to take this sparse brush so that's the same size and just So there's a bit of a grade going on. There we go. So that's looking good. Okay, so now I'm going to do Harry's face. Just gone for one colour for his face. Make sure I go back to my brush. There we go. Incidentally, this um, line art that you see, the black and white line art, I'm going to put it on my Patreon page as a free download. Um, <clears throat> I would love it if you could download it, colour it in. <laughs> that would be great to know. Uh, I'd love to see it. That would be pretty cool. Make me smile, that. And hopefully, I'll even make you smile. Okay, so Harry's hair. Make sure where uh, there we go. I need to use a smaller brush for this area. Yeah, that's 
anything, see? Okay, oh, what are this? What is this? This is skin tone. Go back to that. Right, now what I've done, I've already prepared these. I've got a set of uh, textures, painted textures on the uh, cloud drive and I've imported a couple just in watercolour and scanned them in and then you see let's get in close if I turn this texture on just a bit of randomness to it and again with this hair this other watercolour texture there we go you can play with the opacity settings and the different types colour burn darken etc so they're quite fun and they just make it look a little bit more natural just something interesting going on okay now it's time for his shirts as they say in Liverpool his shit <laughs> I think I say this on every video I make that <laughs> uses that word <laughs> I'm obsessed with it shit this is uh, blue as well this is collar collar and cuffs Is a darker brown. There we go. Nearly done. No, it's just these uh, swirls in the background. We use a light brown for this. Background's basically lime, a green, lime green colour, brown colour, and whites. So this is just to reflect um, the colours of lime and coconut. That's a clever. And I can. The only lines have to stay in are the lines of the swirl. I can go behind the green. We're using layers. So I'm going to do all of these outlines first, so then I'm going to be dead quick to just colour them in. One of the difficult things is working out <laughs> where the brown bit is and where the white bit is. So this is going to be brown. Which means I can have my window open and use natural light because it's not changing. You're not going to get any sunlight today, I don't think. Not strong sunlight. Right, so this, at the moment, I don't know what's going on here, but I will do when I add this one. clearly does that. Oh, but hang on. This is brown. So I th Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure, you know. Let's go back a bit. Right, I'm going to have to colour some of these bits in now. So that I know what's going on behind the letters. Stupidly. Um, I deleted 
the layers of black ink. The black ink was constructed in three layers, face, letters, background. And if I'd uh, kept them all as layers, I would be able to just remove the letters and see where the brown is and where the white is. But I didn't do that because I'm an idiot in retrospect. Never mind. <laughs> I still don't know what's going on there. Well, this has got to be brown. I know that. This has got to be brown as well, though. So this must go up there. So that's brown. This is brown. By the way, if, um, if you can hear music playing in the background of this, it means I've decided to add some of my own little instrumental tunes to it. Um, if you can't hear music in the background of this, um, I haven't done that. <laughs> I've not decided yet. But, um, I've been making some of my tunes, some instrumental stuff for YouTube. Just because I think it's a bit more interesting than having the usual uh, stock library tunes that you can get on YouTube. And it's, um, it's more fun for me to be making some music as well as the art. Like to keep myself busy. Everyone else, like lots of my friends, have asked me about what TV shows I've been watching, what streaming stuff. And I mean, I barely get time to watch my like TJ Hooker videos <laughs> on, on YouTube. Um, most of the time, I'm busy drawing or making music or playing board games or reading and that. that. I'm, I love um, watching films, but I never have the time for it because I'm too busy doing all this stuff. Maybe I should um, make more of an effort with the films. Because what you get in comes out in, in your art. What you um, 
you know, your influences in terms of the films you like watching, the music you like listening to and stuff, it, um, it does come out. And if you're not taking anything in, um, you're going to be making some very strange arts and maybe not making any arts. You need some inspiration. But this is a discussion I have with myself many times to watch more films. I never get around to it. detail but can you see went off <laughs> went out the lines there doesn't matter does it but sometimes it does oops make that smaller again Nearly done. the last swirl Just a bit there. 
and miss some bits here. Just have zoomed in. Yep, yeah, so there we go. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. That's it, Doctor. There's my little Harry Nielsen drawing. Oh, really. Should I colour that in? I'm going to leave that white. <laughs> um, I can check out my Patreon page. There's a link below. Um, you'll be able to download the uh, line drawing of this and uh, colour it in and get it to me social media. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Pancho Ballard. Um, tag me. I'd love to see it. Right. Well, I'm off to... Uh, I'll try and watch a film, but I probably won't, will I? Okay, see ya. <laughs>